Hey, in today's video, let's learn how to push a local Docker image from our machine to a public registry like the GitHub or a GitLab in just few minutes. All right, so we are going to leverage the GitLab repository. So what is great about the GitLab is that you can also store the container images very easily. So it's very simple process. So let's go ahead and jump into the GitLab page first. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to create a new project. So click on the new project here. Then create a blank project. I'm going to say that Ansible AWX EE image. And then you can select the visibility level either private or public. So I'm going to make it as public here. Then create the image. So once you have this repository created, you will have a readme.md file. But what we need to do here is to go to deploy, then click on the container registry. So what you can see here is that there is no container images stored for this project currently. Obviously, we don't have any images uploaded yet. But also we can see a lot of other informations. The first of all, it says what is the login method. To follow if you have a gitlab username and password you can give that one but if you don't have that means you are logging gitlab using the other platform like twitter or gmail services then probably you need to go with the uh, two-factor authentications using personal access token don't worry i'm going to show you how to use this one then it also shows uh, the cli commands what we can use so we'll come back on this shortly so first of all let's understand how to create the personal access token so to create the token let's go to preference then access tokens so i already have a token created let's so let's remove it from here then add new token then give a token name then give a token name then you can select the scope so I want to have API, then I have read registry, write registry. So please make sure that you select both these options, then create personal access token. So now you can see that there is a token generated, which is valid for next four weeks. If you want to reveal the token details, you can click here. Otherwise, you can just copy this one. So let's copy this token details and put it on the notepad. Next thing what we need to do here is that go back to the repository and go to the repository we created. Go to deploy contain registry again. Then here you have a couple of commands. The first one is the docker login registry.gitlab.com. So copy this one. Go back to the shell and put the this command over there. So it will ask for the username. You can put your GitLab username here. Then the password would be the password we just created as a personal access token. All right, so we have the login succeed message. That means we are successfully able to authenticate our terminal with the GitLab using our account. That's great. Now let's go back to the second step here. So the second step would be to build. So we have used this command in earlier using Ansible builder command, but here it will be docker build, then tag it as registry.gitlab.com slash your ID, then slash your repository name. Let's copy this command from here. It's not getting pop quit. Let's go back again. Copy it, yeah. Copy this command. Okay, so we have some error here. Fail to solve, fail to read the Docker file. Uh, we are not into the project directory here, so let's go to the AWX EE. That's what uh, we have created for the using poetry. Then let's check where the Docker file located. Which is inside the context okay so let's clear the screen let's go to cd context 
and we have the docker file here now we can run this command so it's going to the build process it looks the images it copied the script folder into this one then all the required things so here we have the sha image for this one and we should have an image created with this name let's check that one first docker images so yes so we have this new image created with registry gitlab.com and the repository name and the image id is exactly same because it's it's the same image and the file size also same so we are good with the step two third step is that we need to push this to the gitlab so the command is docker push then the file name so let's run that command as well so it is creating the image mounting those image now you can see here that the image upload process has been completed there is a message digest and the size of the file so let's go to the container registry for the git on the gitlab let's refresh the screen now you can see there is an image called ansible underscore aws ee image has been created if we click on this we'll have all the informations path details published by so and so time and the the date it has created so that's that's about uploading the image to the gitlab it's fairly straightforward process but i just want to show you so that you know we can call these images from the awx platform on the next video so with that i will wrap up this video thanks again for watching and see you soon